Mia Khan is a part-time marketing student and a passionate entrepreneur who thrives uh, and um, is excited to bring about the vision her visions to life and of course she has a background in graphic and design she is the owner of drumroll please bougie bay assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam how are you doing alhamdulillah and you i am doing great i love your collections jazakallah did i ever tell you you have the most amazing smile as well oh wow yeah That's the first no i'm joking people do tell me that <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Mia, we want to know from you, first and foremost, what inspired you to start your business? Where do you draw your inspiration from and how has entrepreneurship been going for you? So growing this business has been a roller coaster. So basically, it's a personal passion. And I saw a, what I would say, an unidentified gap in the market. Mm. And I said, you know what? As you said, being a Gen Z, yeah. I looked at something that's not offered to all ladies. Mm. And I said, you know what, since this is my passion, this is something I could bring about. So that is what inspired me. And, you know, the the whole roller coaster of like getting to know your market, getting mm. to know your people. That is what really more inspired me because I didn't know a simple jewelry business yeah. could lead to me getting client who is now looks up to me you know yeah. whenever they want to start something of their own or whenever they need advice they'll call me they speak to me so mm. that is where I draw my inspiration from wow absolutely love this now um you do have a background of graphic and design and you are a part-time marketing student can you tell us how do you leverage social media and digital marketing to grow your business? So I use social media and digital marketing to engage with my audience. Mm. I'm not sure if you notice with me, I try to keep my content as real as possible. Yeah. As much as I would love to stay with aesthetic, but the whole thing about my brand is to be be yourself, mm. you know, is to be bougie, but to be you. So what we do is that we work with a whole line of influencers, targeted audience, and all our images on social media and videos is real life reels wow so that means it's actual clients that came through that designed their own stuff mm. it's our actual because when you see the content you don't want to see for example a flawless skin mm. with a bracelet mm. on mm. you want to see okay if i forgot it wax today how yeah. it's going to look so yeah. that's how i use social media i keep it real to target my audience absolutely love that because now with the um advancement of ai mm -hmm. you know many people are creating uh content that is far-fetched from reality and sometimes you look at it and you're like this is too perfect i don't know if i fit the standards you exactly. know exactly and that's one of the challenges i face as well because i'm forever thinking to myself okay i need to make it more aesthetic enough but then can i tell you mm. we've been there we've gotten it done professionally but the joy and the beauty when i get it done naturally mm. with the real reactions mm. the beauty is next level absolutely absolutely now as gen z um you know many uh, gen z's priority the work driven or work life balance and how does your business reflect this or your personal goals how how far are you from this or how close are you to this so from what i actually started from and to where i am i would say i have I didn't think I would achieve this much. Uh, I think the ability of being a Gen Z is to be bold yeah. because our history shows like, you know, we have strong women to look back at. Yeah. So basically, I still have a long way I want to go. But managing like, you know, your personal life with your business life mm. can also be a bit of a struggle. The best thing to do, especially with this day and age of anxiety and stress, mm. is to have a healthy mindset. As you said, when it's business shut, it's business shut. Yeah. You put yourself to arrest wow you know about the healthy um healthy mindset and also about uh, work-life balance can you just walk us through that i know you're an animal lover <laughs> and you love nature as well but how how much of time do you spend in business how much of time do you spend doing other personal stuff or do you maybe spend time with the pets that you have or in nature thinking about business so you just said the last part correct. Even though I am in nature, I'm still thinking about business. Before it used to get a bit too overwhelming because you constantly want to be good in the market. Yeah. But that's when I realized, you know what? Hey, take a step back because mm. you are unique. What you do, mm. they can never be another you. Of course. Not especially you, Kelly. They can never <laughs> be another you. So basically, I'm going to be honest to you. Mm. It's just recently I've started learning to create a balance. As you said, nature. Yeah. So sometimes I take a step back. I enjoy nature. 
I enjoy going out for snorkeling. That's like my, you know, like my de-stressor out completely. Yeah. Even if it's 10 minutes, it's fine and it's perfect. Yeah. But I really, really look forward to at least balancing it a lot more because you know why when you rested when your mind is relaxed mm. that's when you'll see you come up with more ideas and Absolutely. you give it all in your business you know they say that gen z is a very lazy population okay they're very lazy workers i'm not calling anybody names <laughs> but i want you to um you try and tell me how true or false is the statement but I agree with them being lazy because mm -hmm. I think most creative people are lazy they don't want to spend so much time doing a task they want to spend a short amount of time but to do it effectively That's you cool. know so I believe they're very creative because they know the easiest way to get that job done without wasting much time on it so um you did you, you <laughs> Asif is also so he's saying something okay are you a gen z sir Oh, they work smart, not hard. I was just hard. about to say that. They work smart, not hard. I was just about to say that. <laughs> they work smart and not hard. And you did mention that in your answer right now. So I wanted to ask you, um, what type of leadership resonates with you? And how would you describe yourself as a leader? Personally, with me, I would say I would love to go and say to take dictatorship. I'd love it, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would see myself as a transformational leadership. That mm. is somebody that actually wants to grow mm. others. So mm. with me, if you look at like my staff. Yeah. For example, right? I would never tell them this is how something needs to be done. Wow. I would say, okay, how would you do it? Because mm. you know why? When you give somebody else the opportunity to show their creativity, yeah. in that way, it also uplifts your creativity. Absolutely. Because how I would see something is not how you would see something. So for me, transformation leadership is very, very important. And that's what I try to aim to do. Because I come from a history of um, three women in my family. Mm. All three are entrepreneurs. My mommy has almost 40 years of a tuck shop experience nice and like job. I'm just saying alhamdulillah if it wasn't for having strong mentorship like this as mm. well I wouldn't see myself as a transformational leader, leader mm. being a Gen Z so I aim to uplift others I love what you just described right now <laughs> you had role models you know you had women that were doing great things that you had to look up to and that shaped you but also you are a person that likes to include the people you're working with you're a team player I am I, I love am. that but with that, doesn't it come with certain challenges? It does. Sometimes it comes with a lot of challenges. As you said, with Gen Zs, we're not only smart, we're not only lazy, we're sometimes very competitive yeah. and we're very bold. Yeah, absolutely. So sometimes it does come with clashing, like, mm -hmm. you know what, you have somebody that has a strong personality and you have a strong personality. Yeah. But another good thing about being a Gen Z is that we can forgive and move on. <laughs> oh, okay. I really, no, 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 that I have to admit. I have to admit 100%. The Gen Zs that I've worked with, okay, I'm also a Gen Z. Why do I keep excluding myself? <laughs> As a Gen Z, including me, okay, <laughs> or the people that I've worked with, they are 100% authentic. Exactly. They are so transparent and so real that if somebody does not like you, they don't have the time to be a hypocrite. They will tell you, I don't vibe with you like that. They don't. And, and then you honest sit, answers. You sit it there, you're like, okay, so what, what do I do with this information? <laughs> you know, but also that's the good thing. I mean, if, if for example, they're upset about something, you'll talk it out and it's done. It's done. Like they're not going to go back and tell you, oh, you remember, you remember, you remember. They're like, nothing. Nah. There's no bad blood. And next thing you know, you both are sharing the same fries. I love that. I love that. And I think that is what encourages a healthy working environment. It and does. I'm, all in for Gen Z being up for social justice. They want to see change in the work um, environment. They don't want toxicity. They want to be happy at work. That is correct. But also, I want to ask you something. I know Gen Z is big on remote work. They want to be able to do work while they're on holiday or somewhere else. They don't have to be physically there. So how has remote working been for you and your business? To be honest, uh, because, okay, so it's only at events that I have staff. So remote business, it's basically me. So it does get very, very difficult because it's not like the same, you see, with the type of field I'm in. Like, see how you and I, we can talk about things. Yep. Like, if you if I see you at the event. It's not really the same on social media. So yep. it does get a bit more difficult yeah. uh, with remote working in my type of field. But to be honest, I actually do love it because I get to not only meet people within Durban. Yeah. I meet people outside the provinces. Like, you get to chat to them. I just made, like, my, like a lady remembered me after a year of purchasing. And she's like, I still have something from you and I never wore it but it's still so perfect and I love it and I never see that you gave me an extra gift and then she actually sent me flowers I wear this every day I know <laughs> I wear this every day okay your stuff are really great and you know me I'm a bougie buyer as well 
even though you don't want to admit it. No, you are. You are. One day you are going to be my model. I am aiming for that. You see, <laughs> we just spoke about authenticity. That's you. <laughs> I'll send you an invoice. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> well, that is uh, um, Mia Khan. She is the owner of Bougie Bay, talking to us about uh, how a Gen Z um, employer at this point, you're an employer. That's correct. How a Gen Z employer operates. And as you can see, judging from her spirit, her vibrant spirit, she is a boss that is inclusive of all your authenticity, your creativity. No judgment zone. She really doesn't care how you're going to get the job done. Just get the job done. That's correct. <laughs> so I'm giving you hints. If you want to send your CVs, she's the right person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has been an absolute pleasure having you here on Career she's Campus. Girl, it means a lot. We wish you all the very best. Um, and of course, inshallah, we'll keep in touch. We will, definitely. I'll see you soon. You know definitely. when. Definitely. Of course. Of 